Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at one of VSN's brand new mods. This is the F-106 Delta Dart. And this thing is an airplane that I've been anxiously waiting for for a while now for a few reasons. First of all, the F-106 was is kind of like an early... Well, it was an interceptor but it had a lot of features that were very ahead of its time. It has the Delta Wing with a rather powerful engine for the design, so it's actually a pretty maneuverable airplane, or at least it should be. And it has an internal weapons bay to carry most of its... well, all actually of its weapons, as you can quite clearly see here. And that helps not only with stealth on aircraft like the F-22, obviously, but in the case of the F-106, which is quite obviously not a stealth aircraft, this is a 1950s, early 1960s era interceptor, the weapons bay mainly served to streamline the aircraft to allow it to go faster, and this is why the F-106 was actually faster with a combat load than an F-4 Phantom, believe it or not, because the F-4 had to carry its weapons externally, or at the very least semi-conformally in the case of its Sparrow missiles. The F-106 had them completely enclosed in this weapons bay. So another thing that I wish they would do is fix the canopy, because this is quite clearly an earlier F-106 variant. They came back later and got rid of this bar on top of the canopy as part of the six-shooter project, which was basically to upgrade the F-106 fleet and uh, make it a, keep it a little bit more relevant. And that was something that happened, I believe, during the 1980s. Um, but basically what they did is they replaced this canopy with a single piece so you had better visibility than what you have right now. The visibility out of this thing is kind of bad. In fact, compared to even aircraft like the F-14, it's pretty abysmal. Let's be honest. The other thing is, this aircraft does not have a gun. That was something else that they added in place of the Genie on the uh, six-shooter project. Unfortunately, well, that's not modeled here. Hopefully VSN will go and add that later because this thing really could use a 20mm Vulcan, which is what the six-shooter project added to it. The last thing I'll mention is that this is an EFM mod, so it does have a pretty realistic flight model. Unlike previous VSN mods like the F-4, which kind of got released with a half-baked flight model, this one seems pretty darn good. I've flown it around a bit, and it feels like a Delta Wing fighter. It, it really does. It's it's stable. It's, uh, it's pretty good at pull, pulling high alpha, although not for too long, and you don't want to do it too much because you don't have the world's highest thrust to weight ratio. This J-75 is very dependent on airspeed to keep this thing going. You can go fast in a straight line, but you won't necessarily, in a hard turning fight, maintain your airspeed super well, so that's something to keep in mind. It is pretty good, though, in a high altitude fight where you're not pulling quite so hard anyway and you're going pretty fast. But overall, I, I really like this thing. I just wish it had better missiles, but you know what? That's just the way history was. So without further ado, let's get into this thing and have a look at it. We're going to shoot down some bombers, hopefully, and then we'll dogfight with a MiG. All right, so we're sitting here in the cockpit of the F-106A, and we're going to go intercept some Chinese bombers. We're going full send here, the, pulling out all the stops because there are eight bombers coming in and there's only one F-106 ready to go at the moment. This is a completely, well, this would not happen in real life, I don't think, but we're just going to deal with it here today, and we're going to test out the Air 2 Genie. So, that's going to be a lot of fun. The Air 2 Genie, for those of you who don't know, is a nuclear-tipped rocket that is 
fused, or it's radar fused, and it's designed to basically take out a whole flight of bombers with a single weapon. So, very interesting idea there, and it, it comes from a time when guided missile technology was honestly kind of terrible. So we've just taken off here from Anderson Air Force Base, and I'm looking around the cockpit here. Uh, really nice to actually have a real F-106 cockpit, although this is... Well, it's, it's acceptable. It's definitely not, you know, third-party module level, although it could be improved to sort of look like that, at least to some extent. Go ahead and turn my radar on here. And yeah, apparently the Air 2 as it's currently modeled, it has the uh, Sidewinder growl tone to it. So that's interesting. These bombers are coming in at around 36,000 feet. So my plan is to launch this thing at them head on and then kind of turn away from it because I really don't want to get caught in the blast of this thing. The flight model, by the way, is really nice. This is not a half-baked flight model at all. And the external model is really nice too for what it is. There are definitely some out there that are better, but this is pretty darn good. Okay, here come those bombers. Let me see if I can get a lock here. Oh, come on. Vertical scan mode, please cooperate with me. Give me that lock. Come on. I can't do anything here without a radar lock. Oh, there it is. Genie away. And we're not going to see the nuclear flash, but... Oof! Yeah! That got all of the bombers! <laughs> oh my god! <gasps> wow! It works! No nuclear flash, unfortunately. That's a, a limitation of DCS. I wish they would add that kind of capability, although I guess, given how rare nuclear weapons are in DCS to begin with, well, eh, what do you expect? But, yeah. <laughs> wow. That is insane. And honestly, that is probably the best part about this thing, other than the flight model, because the Falcon air-to-air -air missiles, they're not very good. So let's go and dogfight something and see how that turns out. All right, guys, we're going to dogfight a MiG-21 here, and I am not expecting this to go very well. I'll go ahead and launch a Falcon at him, and we'll see what that does, although I'm not expecting a whole lot. There he goes. We're merged, going vertical. Totally lost him. Oh no, there he is. Really low visibility canopy here in the F-106. I wish they would do the six-shooter modification of this thing where they actually gave it a decent uh, canopy. Got rid of that bar up there. Now I have a lock but there's no way that a Sidewinder is going to track from this angle, so I'm going to pull up and wait for 
a better opportunity here because this MiG-21 is... Well, I basically would have to have this guy's six and, like, have a really low aspect shot in order to get a hit with this thing. There goes his contrail. And yes, this is a very high altitude fight over water, so this is very interesting. Now, the Falcons that we have here, we're carrying the AIM-4 Deltas, which are supposedly the better ones. They're the only ones I've ever actually hit anything with. Alright. Don't want to do that, so let's... Ah. Uh, gotta be careful of that over G. Alright. Fox 2. See what... Yeah, that, that was never gonna track. Now, there's a big issue here if he gets on my 6, which is not going to be easy to do, but... I mean, I've got a complete advantage right now, but the problem is my missiles are just not good enough to get this guy. I would need an AIM-9 Lima, or at least an AIM-9P to take him out from right here, and I just don't have it. I've got all the power in the world that I need to stay with him. Alright. I'm sending it one more Fox 2, and that did not track either. We're getting very close, and I do not have a gun, so I've got one Falcon left. That is my only shot at this guy. I mean, I've got the... And here we're getting the the gray out mechanic here, the new blackout mechanic, which I think is really nice. Um, but yeah, I'm totally, uh, I'm just absolutely eating this MiG-21 alive if I only had a decent missile. <laughs> That's literally the only issue with this thing, is I don't have a good missile at all. I really don't. I mean, he's right there. I don't have a gun. If I did, I could blow him away right now, but I don't. Don't have a gun, and... Don't have a missile, either. Well, I do have one missile, but it's not gonna... It's not gonna launch... It, I can't expect that to work under these circumstances. Besides, these missiles kind of fire downward out of the bay a little bit. I'm gonna hold off right here. All right, now. Fox 2, and it missed. Great. Yeah, I was too close for that. And now I'm literally out of options here. I can stick... I can literally Overkey. stick to this Overkey. guy's tail all day long, but... <sighs> if I can maintain sight of him, there he is. Got to do a little bit of offset here because of that F-106 canopy. Where'd he go? Alright, well, I think that pretty much covers it. And I think it's time for me to turn around and run because I am out of missiles. Alright, guys. Well, that is the VSN F-106 mod for DCS World. I'm pretty impressed with this thing overall. I just hope that in the future they add the sit shooter modification of this aircraft because we could really kind of use a uh, gun for this thing and some better canopy visibility, but otherwise very historically accurate, very nice flight model and external model, decent cockpit, all the things that you really want to see from a mod like this. And I hope you've enjoyed it, because that's going to be it for today. Don't forget to like it and subscribe if you think I deserve it, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.